The walls are covered in letters, in the handwriting of a nearly 10-year-old child. I miss you. I love you. Sweet words to parents just arrested for child abuse. My family are wonderful people. My mom and dad are some of the best people you'll meet. Those words and these letters, a stark contrast from details in these court documents. Martha and Timothy Crouch are facing serious child abuse allegations that all stemmed after calls to CYFD about alleged educational neglect. We don't make the kids do anything they don't want to unless it's a chore or something. You, yeah. know, you gotta do the dishes, you gotta do the dishes. Crouch's son, 31-year-old Timothy, says the 14 kids, some who are now adults, made their own decisions. My brother Pat drives a truck for a living and if you ask him to read something, he's going to look at you like you're, you're funny, but you get him on the back of the truck and he can drive it. But the allegations in these documents accuse the parents of much worse. Children who grew up in that home and moved away told police they were brutally beaten. One teen girl still living with the couple told police she was routinely abused. They reportedly allowed one meal a day and that Martha would punish them by killing their pets. She told police Martha took the puppies and put them in a giant pot and boiled them while they watched. One child claimed he was beaten, shot, stabbed and run over by his parents and even had BBs still inside his arm. Another daughter even said she was put on a fat chain for three years to prevent her from getting food because she was chubby. But it's all a lie, says Timothy Crouch. My mom's a great person. I mean, if it wasn't for my mom, I'd literally be living in a ditch. Uh, and my dad's who made me who I am today.